Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Nama saya Birvan, saya kelas 1C, Pendidikan Agama Islam. Saya dari UIN Syarif Hidayatullah, Jakarta. I am going to express my opinion about sunnah-sunnah in Fardu prayer. Prayer is the pillar of religion. Explain as in the hadith by Syekh Abu Ishaq al ini, As-salatu imadud din. Man aqamaha faqad aqamad din. Wa man hadamaha faqad hadamad din. Meaning, prayer is the pillar of religion. Whoever upheld it, then he has upheld his religion. And whoever break it down, means he has torn down his religion. If you don't pray, a Muslim will is meaningless. The the build or religious is cannot stand because the pillar of a build are not erected. It makes the building not sturdy and fragile. Far prayer must be stabilized. In a day we pray five times according to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comments. Then instead of that, in this obligatory prayer, there is also a sunnah sunnah in it. The things that I took from the sunnah sunnah in fardu prayer are very diverse if we do this the sunnah sunnah we will get quite a lot of reward and will grow the belief that our worship is perfect in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with us carrying out our obligation as well as practicing the sunnah sunnah in the prayer there are many sunnah sunnah in fardu prayer that we can practice and of course will add to the quality of or religion as Muslims. And of course, it won't hurt us to learn about the sunnah in the Fardu prayer. It can give us an understanding of what we previously only knew. And it can also be our charity when we provide knowledge about the sunnah-sunnah practice in the prayer. Profitable, right? Of course, yes. Among the sunnah-sunnah in, in the prayer, first, raising both hands. This is included in the sunnah in obligatory prayer. Ali bin Abi Talib narrated from the Prophet Muhammad SAW that when performing the obligatory prayer, he starting by saying the takbir and raise his hand until they are sorrow with the part. He did the same thing we finish. when he finished reading before Ruku, also raising from Ruku. He does not do that while sitting, but if he get up after prostrating twice, he repeat the takbir. Hadis riwayat Abu Daud and Tirmizi. Then the second one, which is to put the right hand on top of the left hand. This practice is done when after the first takbir in starting the obligatory prayer, according to the authentic hadis narrated by Jabir. In the hadith, it is explained the messenger of God, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Once walk past a person who was praying, the person placed his left hand on top of his right hand. Then he let go of that hand uh, and placed his right hand on top of his left hand. And after that, the third sunnah is to direct the guest toward the place of prostration. This practice is based on Al Barbahari. Statement in his book, Shah as sunnah namely, looking at something is not a problem in prayer. But what is better is to direct the guest to the place of prostration. Apart from those three, there are still many more sunnah, sunnah in prayer. Fourth, that is reading the beginning prayer or uh, iftita prayer. This was concluded from when the companions asked why. The Prophet Muhammad SAW remained silent between after the takbir and before reciting the surah. Uh, it is. That's it. Uh, then the, the fifth, which is reading ta'awuz. Uh, billahi reciting ta'awuz is done after reading the iftita prayer and before starting to read the surah before we read the basmala sentence. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, the sixth is to say amin when finishing reciting surah al-fatihah that's it say amin when finishing reciting surah al-fatihah and the seventh is reading the short chapters that we know furthermore eight 
is that we should prostrate on seven bonds as explained seven bonds as explained in the hadith of prophet muhammad sallallahu which means i was ordered to prostrate on seven bonds namely forehead nose both palms both knees and both ends of the foot Furthermore, reading blessing on the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as narrated, namely when the second tashahud he read, O oh Allah, confess safety to Muhammad and to the family of Muhammad, as you have given safety to the Prophet Ibrahim and the Ibrahim family. Indeed, you are the most praised and the most great. Bless Muhammad and the family of Muhammad as you have blessed up Ibrahim and the family of Ibrahim. Verily, you are praised and the most great. And before the end, there are still sunnah sunnah in fardu prayer, namely after giving blessing on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it is sunnah to read the prayer of Maksur as he or Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, and the sunnah of the sunnah in the last obligatory prayer is the second salam. If someone blows the wine before the first salam, complete the prayers is invalid. This is because the first greeting in prayer is one of the pillars of the of prayer that cannot be left out. Itu rukun. Salam pertama itu rukun. It's different with the second greeting, second salam, because the second salam, second greeting is included in the category of the sunnah of prayer, not the pillar. If it is left, then the prayer is still valid and not void. But the value of the sunnah that a person gets is reduced. The above is fairly easy for us to apply. Otherwise, we will not sin. Otherwise, we will not sin. Are you sure you leave the things we learn above? which are very easy for use to practice. Of course not. In fact, we are among the people who lose out when we leave something that we know about but don't practice in, 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 in activities that we usually do, such as praying, for example. For example, such as praying. Let's practice this easy and very useful practice. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.